ChristianGeekCentral.com Hey guys, Peter Franson here from ChristianGeekCentral.com and Spirit Blade Productions. Doing my first look at the series of games being made available as part of PlayStation's Play at Home initiative. Um, I just, uh, you know, at Christian Geek Central we do the, the Summer of Free event every year and that has always been uh, intended to be just kind of one small tool potentially in your tool belt as a Christian geek who is wanting to be responsible with uh, your finances as hopefully we all are. Uh, it's not just about like finding like cool things we can get for free but so you know finding things that we can enjoy for free so that we can better leverage our resources and maybe instead of putting as much as we have typically done in the fa the past into our own uh purchasing and stuff we can consider ways that we can be generous that we can divert some funds giving to uh, to others giving specifically to ch local church ministries or other ministries that we want to support and things like that and so that's really the heart behind the summer of free and of course the the play at home initiative is uh, uh, not happening during the summer but in that same spirit I wanted to look at these games that are being offered in 2021 as part of this initiative and uh, uh, yeah and just kind of give my first impressions of them and draw your attention to them as well in case they might be something that you would enjoy so we're starting with subnautica <clears throat> um, this, as will be the case with all these videos that I do on these games this uh, week and next, will be the first time I'm playing these games at all. Uh, let's see, what kind of options we got? English, good. Let's see, do we have any difficulty options? Me like it easy, gamey. Um, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, we want to invert look. Yeah, that'll be good. And everything else, I don't know. We'll just change it as we need to. I guess. Whoa, whoa. Did I just accidentally change something? Hang on. I might have just screwed up the controller. <laughs> I thought I... Uh, I think I got in here and accidentally hit a button that I didn't want to do. Well, maybe not. No, no, because it says back. So I ought to be able to just go back there. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I'm good. <laughs> All right, start a new game. Ooh, okay, here we do have some difficulty. Uh, survival, crash land on a dangerous alien planet, scavenge resources, and manage hunger slash thirst to survive. Like survival, but without hunger or thirst. Survival mode with only one life. Uh, build anything with no constraints, oxygen, food, pressure, story, and health. I, I kind of feel like these aren't so much difficulties as different modes of experiencing the game in. Um, survival seems like it's probably the one that's got like the main mode, the story mode, as it were. I'll give that a try. I kind of... Yeah, we'll just see. I'll probably end up landing on freedom. I, creative probably isn't going to be something I'm really interested in, but... Uh, Alright. We'll try survival for now. Uh, and I'm playing this on a uh, PlayStation 5 through uh, PS4 backwards compatibility. So I think in this game you are from space, but well, we'll find out. Space, but landing on a... Press any button can do I'm not controlling any of this camera so far. Ow. <laughs> I think that metal panel clocked me right in the head. Yeah, that's right. Get out. Hammer that thing. Oh, now I'm in control. Okay, got to get out. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Put out the fire. Pick up fire extinguisher. Oh, 
Use feedback when you. Oh, okay, I missed that. Oh, come on. You yep. have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Good directive. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, let's see. Now, I've played... I'm not big into survival games. I've played some of Conan Exiles. I've played all the way through the main story and the expansion story uh, for No Man's Sky. Um, so, I have it in me to enjoy this type of game. Uh, but I don't... I don't, typically don't seek them out. Uh, let's see here... Okay. Quick slots. Fabricator. Um. So am I going to be... Looks like I can't make these things yet. Oh, because I don't know the ingredients even of filtered water. But maybe I know the ingredients of these, but I just don't have them because they're in red. That's probably what that means. Okay. So I guess maybe I'll be coming back here to my pod. Um, what do we got here? That is not anything that's working. Damage radio. Use repair tool. Do I have a... Okay, that is not... I don't think that's a repair repair tool. Um, use repair tool. I don't think I have this repair tool. Use repair tool. Can I make a repair tool in the fabricator? Personal deployables. Uh, resource... Um... Repair tool. No, I'm not seeing a recipe. Oh, equipment. Tools. Scanner. Repair tool. Oh. Okay, so I need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Okay, do I have a mining tool? I don't think I even have a mining tool. I've got this. I've got this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Storage container. Anything in here? Nope. Wait. Oh, here we go. Flare. Well, let's... Let's get that. Can we get it? Can we exit to get it? No. Can we square it to get it? How about triangle to get it? Circle to get it? Nope. That just closed it down. All right. Switch container. Oh! Oh, okay. I thought it meant switch container like... Switch your focus to the other container, but it actually means move the item to another container. Switch the container that this item is in. Filtered water. I'm just going to take it all. All right. Good. Okay. Um, first aid kit. Pretty sure that's going to be important. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to have nothing equipped right now. Can I have nothing equipped? Because I don't want to accidentally blow all my fuel on this thing, but how do I equip just like hand? Just like nothing. Oh, well. Guess I can't. Climb ladder. Oh, what was that? Oh, jeez. Weird creatures. Oh, my gosh. This game is going to freak me out, isn't it? I need to turn my volume down. I get very... The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Uh... With headphones on, even non-scary games become very intense for me, so... Uh... I 
I guess I'm going to swim to that thing. I really... Oh, I don't like sharks. I don't like the ocean. I want this to be like... Ugh. Just a peaceful game. Peaceful and beautiful. How about? What are these things? Peaceful and beautiful? Well... Ugh. Ugh! Creature noises! Ugh. I feel not comfortable. Okay, I gotta go up, because I lost... I forgot where the ship is. It does look nice. Okay, there it is. All right. Ooh, there's a big something over there. What is that? Oh! I don't want to get close to it. I don't want to see what that is. Oh, that's a big grumpy whale sound. Oh, I'm not going to like this game. This is not going to be the game for me. Well, maybe when I take the headphones off, if I... Oxygen. Okay. Surface. Surface. I'm coming. I'm coming. Jeez. Okay, so I can take a big, deep breath. I'm just going to swim on the surface for a little while. And uh, just live in ignorance of the underwaterness. No, that's not going to make a good video. I need to swim. I need to swim for the sake of viewers. Frickin... Ugh. See, so many people like nature and find it peaceful. I find it extremely stressful. It's the fear of the unknown. Radiation! Maybe I'm not supposed to go toward this ship. I need to go away from the ship, don't I? Okay, I understand. I understand. I am supposed to probably stay near my little pod and just kind of collect ingredients, right? Ugh. So I just got to keep swimming around in all this water. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Some... That looks like technology. It could be useful. Please, no creatures attack. I really don't want to be attacked by creatures. What is that? Ugh. All right, what do we got here? Anything useful? Ugh, I hear you groaning, whale. Oh, that thing has a snappy mouth. Short range okay. Can suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm blacking out. There I go. What? Is this death music? You, you died, you died, you died. You died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> okay. Eat something. Eat something. Eat something. Um. Okay. So let's see here. Nutrient block. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. We'll consume a nutrient block. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh-uh. See, there's that thing. That looks suspiciously like a fin over there. I'm... Um, oh, it's just getting dark. Can you even see the water in the dark? Oh, no. No, we will wait for daytime. Get back in your ship. <laughs> okay, how do I, uh... Can I pass time somehow? Let's see here.
detecting increased local radiation levels. Um, Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay. Oh, they got a whole tab dedicated to photo management. All right. Um. PDA has now rebooted an emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. I mean, you could tell me a little bit more what to do then, PDA. Data bank for detailed survival advice. Okay, that must be what this is. Start here. If you are reading this, then you have survived an emergency evacuation of a capital-class ship equipped with Altera technology. Congratulations, the hard part is over. Ya baloney. Your PDA has automatically rebooted it. In emergency mode, this operating system has one directive to keep you alive on a hostile alien world. If that is not possible, it will alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. <laughs> Uh, it features full monitoring of vital signs, blueprints for fabricating range of essential survival equipment, onboard camera, cross compatibility, blah, 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 blah. Um, survival checklist. Administer first aid if required. Take inventory of available materials and supplies and decide on rations. Survey. Um, let me move this camera down just a bit. Oh. A little better? Yeah, I do like that a little bit better. Survey the environment for threats and resources. I don't know, did it do that for me? I must have not pushed the right button. Construct necessary survival equipment using the life pods fabricator. Um, check life pod for damage and repair if necessary. Broadcast local distress signal. Yeah, I don't know how to do any of this. <laughs> Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. Yeah. So you need to tell me how to not freak the crap out with water things. Um, blueprint database corrupted. Great. I don't know. I'm not finding this super helpful. Um, hmm. And I'm not seeing a way to... Past time. Uh, well, I guess I could save. Why not? Oh, okay. Well, saving's pretty quick. That's nice. Um, options. Hmm. Yeah, I am not seeing uh, an option to pass time. Ugh. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that one little bit. Um, let's see here. Okay. Well, let's climb the ladder. Still nighttime. Giant freaking moon thing. And what is that? There's something up there. I didn't know there was an up there for it to be on. Oh, jeez, it moved. Was that just a glitch? That was really weird how it was just hanging there for a second. It was very intimidating. Very, very intimidating. Um, I cannot see anything. Maybe a flare. Let's try the flare. Oh. Now, I kind of wanted to hold on to it. Can I... No, no. I tried to hold the trigger, but it still threw it. And that's all my flares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. There it is again. Well, how are these things doing that? That's very um, unsettling to me. I can't see what it is there. Oh, daylight's coming. What were they... What were they hanging on to? I'm thinking that was a glitch. That was so odd-looking. Oh, this is very intimidating. All these unknown creatures doing unknown things. There. What is that move? What is that? It looks like he's sitting on something.
It, is there like a Wonder Woman plane here that they're all sitting on? Can I jump? I can't jump. Huh? Oh, yes, I can. Triangles jump. Huh? Oh, that's weird. Okay. All right. Well, it's daytime. <laughs> Have to go in the water. What am I looking for again? Oops, wrong button. It's that, uh, I guess, food along the way, but... I really want that tool to be repaired, right? My repair tool? Um, wall locker locker... Um, repair tool. So I'm looking for silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Silicone rubber? I might have to make that. Silicone rubber. Okay, creep vine. Jeez! F flying things. So I'm looking for creep vine seed cluster. Can I can I mark that? In No Man's Sky, you can like mark things. Makes it easier to find. Creep vine, seed cluster, titanium, and cave sulfur. Here we go. Ugh. What do we got here? No? Screenshot saved. Okay, no. I want to, like... Is there a way to scan with this? I'm not seeing how to, uh... Hey. Please don't be hostile, okay? I'm just looking for... Oh, that's my shadow. Okay. Swim to service! Already! My gosh! Go, 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 go! Oh my gosh. Okay. Can't handle it. Um, I, okay. We're gonna try this again without the need to breathe or something. Uh, yes, I'm sure. I'm just not going to have the patience. So, we'll play, start a new game. No hunger or thirst. Oxygen, food, pressure, story, and death disabled. Oh, so no story either. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. Man. I mean, I guess I'll reload it, but... I'm not liking how little time I have to, to swim. I like the way the game looks, I'll definitely say that. I mean, it's got a visual aesthetic that is has a simplicity to it. Not real texture heavy, so in that way it does remind me of No Man's Sky a little bit. Um... <clears throat> Oh, I saved in the middle of the night. I should have saved in the day. Anyway, let's just swim. Let's just swim to our death. What is this? I need like a... I want like a... A little thing that goes beep beep. You're halfway out of air. To tell me to head back up. See, already I feel like I have to head back up. I guess I just need to get into a habit. I mean, you only have to jump up for like a second. All right, let's let's just go ahead and go after these things that I do not want anything to do with, just to see what happens with them. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, I'm poisoned or something. <laughs> Good gravy. Oof. <laughs> Not my kind of game. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Something about water. <laughs> Ugh, too many weird creatures. Is the daylight coming out? Oh yeah, it is. 
Halfway done with air. There, I, I, I've got to be missing something. I've got. There's got to be like a. You see here. PDA deconstruct. Left hand use right hand cycle next slot one. Table coral. Oh, oops, no. Uh, whatever. Table coral. Now do something with the ta get the table coral. Touch it. Get it. Punch it. Anything. None of these buttons are doing anything. Um, okay. What this? What is this? Brain coral! Oxygen. Swim to surface! Go, 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 go! Alright. Writhing reed. Okay, so I... Th I just wasn't getting close enough, but coral shell plate... I still don't know how to get it. Oh, pick up acid mushroom. Okay. So that's something I can pick up. Good. All right. Okay, good, good. So I, I wonder what I can potentially do with these acid mushrooms. These are the questions you're supposed to ask at this point. Let's get some air. Oxygen. Yes, yes, I know. And back down. Can I pick... Oh! Salvage metal, yeah, okay. Beaver, 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 beaver. Okay. What about you? What are you? Can I pick you up? Nope, okay, just swim right through you. Well, seems like acid mushroom is. Wait, shell plate. Can I grab the coral shell plate? No, I can't, okay. So there's got to be something I can make with this acid mushroom. Let me, uh... Maybe, I, maybe I've got my eye on too high a prize at the moment. Oh, here's a ladder. Climb ladder. Let me look at my uh, recipes here. Oops. All right. Metal salvage, coral tubes. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see any creep vine seed clusters. Acid mushroom. Okay, I can make a battery with acid mushroom and copper core. I feel like I must be missing some kind of tool or something. Hmm. All right. It's one reason I'm, I'm kind of not into survival games is because they very often seem to expect you to just be willing to hit your head against the wall for a longer period of time or get online and look at wikis and stuff and and it have it be this community-driven thing. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. I have very little room in my life for community-driven things. So, you need to just tell me how to do things in your game if you want me to stick with it. Um... Oxygen. Oh, jeez, again with the oxygen. <laughs> Maybe I should, uh... Wait, was there something I could pick up that... Per Oh, no. Acid mushroom. Still just the acid mushroom. Coral shell plate. Man, I am all over these acid mushrooms. I'm your man with the acid mushrooms. I feel like I'm not even going to remotely scratch the surface with this game in the time that I'm going to give it right now for this video. Um, uh, sorry, oh, break limestone, okay. Oh, okay, I got some copper ore. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get copper ore because my inventory's full. 
Uh, let's go to the surface. And let's, uh, oops, wrong button. Come on now, let's stay in the surface. Let's drop some stuff from our inventory. Drop. Look at that, it's a rain of mushrooms. And let's get this thing. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay. So yeah, I feel like I'm not going to be able to remotely do even the early game here justice. Um... But that's not really my intent. Um, my intent is really just to draw attention to uh, to these games, uh, and maybe get you to do a search for like an actual proper review that somebody's put out. What is this pick up boomerang? That's like a that's like a creature. New creature discovered. And what can I do with this? The throat will come back. Oh! Come back! Oxygen. Come back, boomerang! <laughs> very inappropriately named. Um. Well, what else can I get that is going to be potentially useful? Anything down here? Anything a little deeper down? Salvage. Metal salvage. That's good, I guess, right? And then we'll swim up. <sighs> Alright, let's... let's actually try... I think I'm done with the survival mode. This is, I mean... This may be the game for other people in this mode. It's not going to be the game for me in this mode. Let me see if there's any fun I can extract from the, uh... from the creative mode. Even though that's normally not going to interest me. New game. Creative. You know, with with this kind of experience and and a bit like some of the some some of the stuff that I'll highlight during our summer free event each year. Available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tame Star War. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Huh. Um. But, like, sometimes, you know, the value in, in free things, it is like a you-get-what-you-pay-for kind of situation where, you know, you get this thing for free, and it's like, yeah, okay, well, it's not this great experience. But sometimes when you're looking to save money, um, it, it is enough of a diversion for a few days 
um, just to dink around with free stuff. That in itself, exploring, seeing what is out there and giving it a try um, is its own kind of a experience and, there's, and it has its own value to it. Uh, even if at the end of the day, you know, you're not, you're not enjoying free stuff that, uh, oh, I, I don't have to get oxygen. You're not enjoying free stuff that is like equal to a premium paid experience. You know, so if you adjust your expectations and just see, okay, well, what kind of fun can I get out of this? And that will help me maybe put off making that purchase for a, a week, you know? Maybe just see what I can do with this paycheck round two, for two weeks, one week, two weeks. Maybe even just putting it off that purchase for a day or two on that thing that I kind of am eyeing. And uh, over time, if you get in the habit of just kind of exploring free options, um, you will get you will be able to leverage uh, time to build up your resources, and not spend as much as you normally would. Oh, look at that! So I just had to go a little further, and I would have gotten these uh, creep creep vine seed cluster. Although I don't know, I feel like maybe when I got out of the boat in creative mode, there was different things available. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Life on this planet grows <clears throat> in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Okay. Well, I do like the, the freedom to explore that this mode gives me. Let's go toward the radiation, since death is not a thing now for me. Don't know what this thing does. It's not a weapon. There's no no weapons. There's this. Gotta help me go faster. I can't tell. I think maybe it does. There's this. Oh, that's to construct things? Okay, I'm not gonna construct anything right now. And this is what a, a light? It is! It's a flashlight! Yay! And the knife! Well, let's get out the, um... The Super Swimmer 5000. Oh, yep, that was like a whale that I heard. Should we swim over to it? Ugh, that's the last thing I want to do, but... I'm, I can't die in this mode, so let's just do it. Oof, look at that thing. Does it have a mouth? That's what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Okay, where's the uh, where's the ship? I lost track of the ship. Okay, here we go. We're getting closer. <clears throat> Huh. I don't have a sense yet of how big this world is, like... If there'd be barriers at some point, if I keep swimming in one direction. <clears throat> oh, it's getting shallow here, though. But this thing? What are you? Eh! <laughs> Alright, a lot, a lot more salvage here. I assume a lot more radiation, probably. Can I get on board this thing? That would be kind of cool. I don't think they're going to give me that option, though. Hmm. Um. All right, well, I made it. <laughs> I think that's probably all I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so uh, obviously there's going to be a lot better resources out there that can give you a proper introduction to this game. But I thought it'd be fun just this week 
um, without putting too much effort into it. Just record myself trying these things out, letting you guys join me for that process, and then doing what you want from there going forward. But um, I'm going to do another one of these tomorrow with, I can't remember what the game is, but every, everything but the VR games um, is what I'm planning on uh, touching on this week. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think if you go to the PlayStation Store, which is probably, I don't know, PlayStationStore.com, Google's your friend, whatever. <laughs> you can find a list of all the games that are available as part of their 2021 um, Play at Home initiative. But that is all for me for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. The Christian Geek Central podcast is the longest running podcast for Christian geeks with over 600 weekly episodes and counting, featuring audio versions of much of the same content you'll find here, plus exclusive content including weekly news updates from the creators of Christian comics, novels, and video games, debriefing and commentary about what I've been playing, reading, and watching, and my expanded responses to your comments and questions via YouTube, email, or the Christian Geek Central forums. And now, with with timestamps so you can jump straight to the segments you want to hear most. Get the Christian Geek Central podcast today on iTunes and other podcast services and enjoy one more way you can geek out and seek the truth.